This is Iwobi. Ertzel with Lacazette. And also Aaron Ramsey arriving late and prodding it narrowly wide. Fabulous run from, from Ramsey from deep. It's great midfield play. You, the turnover of the ball and, and you see you're on the attack. He makes a lovely run and no one better than Ozil to find him with these type of passes. Great pass in between the two defenders and any kind of slight touch glance in the ball could have put it into the far corner. Here come Chelsea. And it came a very, very long way there, David Ospina. And the referee has given a free kick against Pedro. When he comes out, he nearly handles just on the goal line, but I can't see where the, the, the foul's coming from there, to be honest. Well, if we had an Atro. Yes, it's quite. It's, it's a nasty collision. It's, it's never nice when, when you're going through and you, his eyes are on the ball. 30. Looking for he has to make a change or not. That was a substantial collision. When you see the slow motion, that was unpleasant. That's for Lee. Might come here for Willian. Does come for Willian. Still going. It's Willian. It's a save by David Ospina. Victor Moses. And another reaction save by the Colombian goalkeeper to keep Chelsea out. They've looked the most likely. Another poor kind of error from Arsenal with, with the uh, Nayla Miles with a header into midfield and really pounced upon by uh, Moses. It's an intelligent corner and Michi Batshuayi tucks it home. Here's the offside flag up. He's frustrated about that. The Chinese officials were very quick to rule that out. He thought he'd stolen a march. Arsenal will be very relieved. They, they get out, but they're, they're not, there's not enough pressure on the ball as it comes out. They're too far off. It looks onside to me. That was superb from Batshuayi. He's found William. Boga is joining the attack. Moses is there too. William goes for goal himself. And this time Chelsea did take the lead. Really good finish from William. They have been threatening to take charge of this fixture. And just before half time, that's what they've done. Fully deserved, in my opinion, the opportunities the Arsenal, the Arsenal are giving Chelsea and that Chelsea are creating themselves. There's far too many that only eventually they're going to score a goal. And you know, superbly taken from William. Five minutes before half time, and William, who scored a hat trick against Fulham last weekend, is on the score sheet once more. Monreal has to keep him going on the outside. As a, as a defender, the only place I don't want him coming is inside. I will gladly let him go on the outside of me there and show him to the goal line. He allows him that space inside. Someone like William only needs half an opportunity or half a yard to bend the ball in the far post. Hit that ahead of Bramall. Just got a little bit uh, befuddled. Here is Batshuayi, some space for him too. And Chelsea score a double in quick succession. First Willian and then Batshuayi. The champions with a show of strength just before half-time. Chelsea again handed the ball from Bramall, I think it was, and developed it themselves but the, the initial turnover of the ball was it was a real sloppy touch or sloppy play from Bramall Kante doesn't need a, a, another opportunity to dispossess somebody and you know it's a very composed finish Mertesacker's body weight's going the wrong way cuts inside very similar finish to William himself for so long he's got lozenges especially now here's Ramsey trying to beat Thibaut Courtois who had to be at his most alert Fantastic ball in from Oxlade Chamberlain. Nice touch from Ramsey. He just picks up that lovely position in between the two centre. And picking out a beautiful pass for Marcus Alonso, who leaves Oxlade Chamberlain on the floor. Alonso, and it's hit beautifully by Mishi Batshuayi. It's three goals for Chelsea, and Arsenal's defence are having a China crisis. A second goal on the night for the man who may end up being back up to the record signing. But he will be breathing down his neck. Ex 
excellent ball from Fabregas, I must say. Really put Arsenal on the back foot. And, and Chamberlain doesn't get the brakes on well enough there. Maybe the pitch has something to do with that, but take nothing away from that finish. Arriving on the edge of the box. It's a nice way to pass here from Alonso. And just to sweep that with his left foot with a bit of bend on it. Nice pace, really controlled strike. Outstanding finish. And... and a well-needed goal for him to have a different approach at times and he, he, he fits that role. Well, he's on now, he's standing over the ball, Adam Ramsey is too. Marcus Alonso is getting another warning. It's going to be Ramsey or is it Giroud through the wall? No. And he tries to disguise it, in the end it's come to nothing. Nelneni playing in Ertzel, is onside here, can he produce a cross, oh it's through, Aaron Ramsey's legs, comes back out and Coquelin ripples the top of the net. Doing enough, but these, you know, he, he always picks people out, there's never just a hopeful ball into the box, it's a great cutback, should make better contact, but I'm not sure if Caballero just gets a bit of a... Not in possession though, it's excellent work by the Frenchman, Ertzel, Giroud, Still Olivier Giroud. He didn't make Caballero sweat. And as you say, he has had an impact since coming on at half-time. Almost wasn't allowed to come on at half-time. 